So here are some things that I'm going to ask you to do with functions when the functions are given as graphs. And unfortunately, this is going to be pretty small on your screen, but try to follow along. First thing I'll ask for is, what is the domain of this function? Domain is a set of x values. On this one, you'll notice I have big old dots at the end of my graph. That means the graph stops there and doesn't continue on. Without those dots, assume that the graph goes on forever. So this domain, so the set of x is where my graph starts, as at x equals negative 5, and they go all the way over to where x equals positive 5. The 5's are included, again those big dots, so we're going to put brackets on the 5's. The range is a set of y values. For what y values does my graph exist? So it never comes down below the x-axis, so all my y's are positive. So it looks like 0 is my lowest, and for argument's sake we'll assume we touch there, so 0 is included and they go all the way up to, over here it goes to the 2, but here it goes all the way up to where y is 3, so 3 is the end of my range. X-intercept, where does your graph cross or touch the x-axis? That happens right in here at the point 2, 0. Where does your graph cross the y-axis for the y-intercept? That would be that point right there, we'll estimate that at 1 half. It's a point, so I'll write it as a point, 0, 1 half. This next one, f of 4. This 4 is the x value. So I need to go to where x equals 4, right here, get on the graph, so jump up till you're on the graph, and then read off that y value. So if x is 4, my function value, my y value is 1. Versus that last question find all values of x for which f of x equals 2. This 2 is a y value. So now on my graph, I need to go to where y equals 2, get on the graph, so I can get on over here and read off that x value, which is an x value of 5. But I can also, remember y equals 2, I can also get on my graph over here where does that end up? Right there, which corresponds to an x value of negative 3. There are two x values for which f of x equals negative 2. So just for argument's sake, so that you know what that would look like, f of 5 equals 2 and f of negative 3 equals 2.